Okay, so uh, in this video, uh, I'm just going to uh, quickly talk to you a little bit about the uh, issues with imaging troublesome hard disks. Uh, there's all sorts of solutions these days to help uh, improve uh, the recovery rate of data from uh, uh, troublesome disks. And there are some very expensive solutions that contain um, a good number of the functionality that X-Ray Forensics has anyway. Um, Deep Star is one example, PC3000 is another. Uh, I'm not suggesting for one minute that x ray Forensics can do everything that those can do, um, but a, a, a quite a few of the significant features that are in that uh, x ray Forensics can deal with anyway. Um, I've already covered in previous posts a little bit about some of those, for example imaging backwards, imaging portions of disks, um, I can't remember what the threads are titled, but they're, they're suitably titled, so if you look through through the previous posts, you'll see that anyway. Um, uh, but just as a, a quick example, um, in this tool's clone disk, uh, you've got some examples here where you can either try and clone the entire disk as is, or you can specify a start sector and a number of sectors to copy. Um, so that could be useful if you get to a certain point and it doesn't work and you want to carry on beyond that. Um, or you might want to uh, uh, I I image backwards, um, uh, which you can also do by ticking that box there, um, where it allows you to copy it in reverse order. Again, troublesome disks are often troublesome at the start, so if you image it backwards you're more likely to get um, a fair chunk of the data and you might perhaps miss the important bit at the start but you can uh, you can do some things with that anyway um, but one of the things I want to show today um, is a feature that perhaps not many of you know about um, I've just created a case here just for the purpose of naming it really but there wasn't any need to I've added my own hard disk which is in this case just a virtual I'm running this on a a VMware virtual machine anyway so it's just a 20 gig disk um, and as usual you can do your specialist technical details report which will give you some bits and bats about your disk um, which is useful and more detailed than most imaging tools um, but more to the point uh, imagine the scenario which many of us have probably been in where you're, you start to image a disk with whatever other tool you might be using uh, and it starts off imaging and the time counter just keeps getting bigger and bigger uh, or longer and longer rather uh, it starts off at a few hours then it becomes a few days and you come in a few days later and it's still got a few more days to go and it hasn't really progressed much the reason for that is the uh, the timeout uh, in milliseconds particularly for Windows systems I'm not sure if it's different with other operating systems um, but with Windows um, I think it's a default of 60 seconds when it hits a bad sector uh, it will keep trying to read that sector for up to 60 seconds before it eventually gives in and carries on. Um, I might be wrong on that time a little bit, but I seem to remember 60 seconds has been a terminology. So if you've got thousands or millions of sectors that are really bad, and it's taking 60 seconds ago to try and image them, that's why sometimes these disks just can't be done. Um, with X-Ways, one of the cool things you can do, if you go to Options, General, you've got this little feature here alternative disk access method which it's off by default because you don't really want it on ordinarily um, but if you're imaging something that you just can't seem to get to finish you know it might be making progress but really slowly um, if you tick this box it's a notice it's a three state uh, situation if you tick it once uh, you use method one which uh, my understanding is that's more to do with disks with odd sector sizes and things like that that's not the one that you want for troublesome disks as far as I know if you tick it again you get method 2 um, and that timeout in milliseconds is basically the time it will take to cut out until uh, when it's imaging um, a faulty disk or a disk with bad sectors rather so um, uh, rather than it waiting 60 seconds till it moves on uh, it will just um, have a stab at it for a few milliseconds and then carry on regardless because bad sectors are often bad and yeah your other tools like DeepStar might be able to get a bit more data from bad sectors but the majority of the time if a sector is bad it's bad um, uh, most people out there seem to be imaging with FTK Imager uh, rightly or wrongly um, I'm merely suggesting that this tool will 
uh, exposed forensics if you tick this option will allow you to image a faulty disk far far better um, there's not much more I can do to demonstrate it because I haven't got a faulty disk to hand but basically once you click OK to that whenever you image a disk from there on in uh, you know, I'll see once you've added a, an image will bring up the create disk image box you can put anything in there as usual um, click OK and it will use that, that alternative method um, very useful feature that not many people know of it's worth worth using when you need it